to do with what's typically called breatharianism. Mm. So we can think of it as accessing uh, direct Vacu from the vacuum, as you've just been describing that abundant field. And this is from Laura, who's saying, I'm curious to curious how the vacuum theory explains the mechanism of action or dynamic behind making breatharianism possible. Mm. Well, yeah, there was a very, very famous breatharian that just passed. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, a few months ago, from India, he was put in a in an isolation chamber for many. Oh, there she is. Hi. Hi, it's Tim. It's good to see you. You too. How you been? I've been great. Yeah. Excited about all of this, what a great couple of hours. Oh, thank you. It's been fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you want to, did you, did you, are you trying to practice Breatharianism or? Not personally yet. I'm very curious about it though. And who was that that just passed that you uh, just. What's passed? his name? My God. Oh, it's okay. I forget. Um, I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll, look it up. I'll, I'll find it and I'll make sure you get it. Um, but uh, if you actually put like uh, Indian Sadhu yeah. uh, sure, Breatharian sure. on the YouTube Christiana. Uh, search, you will come up. put it in here. Christiana, I knew Christiana was here and she knew. Yeah, it. Christiana. It's in the chat. Thanks. Yeah. It's in the chat. You have yeah. the name? That's right. Can Christiana put it in there. Thank you. Uh, Pralad uh, Johnny. Okay. And uh, so basically, uh, he was a veterinarian until his death a few months ago. Uh, I think he had started being a veterinarian when he was 18. He died at 95. Um, and uh, he uh, was put in isolation chamber for many weeks you know, and studied and, you know, AKG, everything, every day, continuous testing and, you know, including, um, um, they have, um, they have um, ultrasound scans of his bladder filling up with fluids and reabsorbing in the body and filling up with fluids and reabsorb because he, he stopped drinking too. And, you know, and so, and then they recorded, you know, humidity in the room and everything. Like they just, you know, sanitized the whole thing. Anyway, so um, this, uh, these things, which I've experienced myself, mm -hmm. you know, um, are the result of being able to access energy at a different scale mm -hmm. than the scale of the material world. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we know that energy is there, right? Mm -hmm. For instance, the electromagnetic field, whatever, you know, like you can think of many things, but I don't think that it's something, aha, there's Christiana. Hi. I don't think that it's actually something that is uh, unnatural, mm -hmm. meaning that uh, when you consider how much a human eats and then consider the energy it takes to digest the food, right? <laughs> Let's just say, basically, the human is like a um, an over unity machine, right? Um, there's a part of it that you can't quite account for. Uh, you know, you have like mitochondria that are like little motors that are spinning at like 7,000 RPM and you get like a, millions of them, right? And they're like ripping out electrons and, you know, making ATP and like just sitting here doing nothing all day, you're gonna burn approximately your body weight in ATP, you know? which is non-trivial, you know, that's a lot of uh, little electrons. And, you know, then you're gonna, if you, if you run a marathon, you're gonna recycle something like a ton of ATP during that run, right? So 
and that you probably didn't get that from your breakfast that morning, right? <laughs> Just didn't, <laughs> you know? Um, and so basically um, you can already say that we're living off this prana that these sadhu describes, mm -hmm. right? You're, but you're, you're mixing it with like taking the prana that's encapsulated, like I was saying earlier in the structure of space and the prana that's available, that, that the free energy that's available is there's actually a term in physics either than an over unity motor or a new over unity device that's called free energy. It's part of like, you know, the way you calculate um, thermodynamics or, uh, you know, systems. And, and that, uh, I'm, I'm, it, that, it's not like coming out of nowhere in this case. In it. But um, basically what I'm saying is that there is energy that, um, so you're like an electromagnetic radiator, right? In the field, because you're, you're actually fairly hot. <laughs> <laughs> I, Some more than others. In, in many ways, but you know, <laughs> in, in thermodynamic ways, for sure. Um, and so this is, you can think of it like a, a black body radiation problem right um and um you can think of it as almost like you know, well for people that don't know what a black body radiation problem is uh, maybe i need to explain that but it, it's basically the base of quantum mechanics you know it's the it's what uh max planck discovered is that you know the electromagnetic field or the heat of an object would radiate in quantas right and, and so these quantas, um, so basically you can think of like uh, all the incident energy that makes the thing heats up is like what the energy that you're getting from the field, from the vacuum. But the vacuum is not just outside yourself, it's inside you because you're made of atoms that are 99.99999% space and there's lots of space between molecules. So it's not, you got to think of yourself like a metric through space, right? Um, like an antenna, like a crystal through space that has space in it. And when you can oscillate that crystal just right, you, you're extracting, you're already extracting energy from space because the fact that your crystal is already put together and functions, right, requires that this organization in space in that region, right? And, um, and then the fact that it oscillates means that it's, you know, you have a heartbeat, you have air breathing, there's blood going around, the whole thing is like oscillating, right? So that part, whether you're going to describe it by saying I'm ingesting food, you're just ingesting more space into your space, right? <laughs> okay, well, in, and then you try to extract a little bit of energy from that, the space that you're made of is energy. Right, and so that is so you can think of like putting more space in your space is like adding information, mm -hmm. right, and letting go of other information, right, and you know, and you got to remember in three months you're redoing yourself, right, mm -hmm. you know, so you're oscillating, so you can redo yourself continuously, not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> right and uh and i did it for a while you know and so it's doable and you can't and there's techniques of meditation like that sadhu when he's asked you know how are you doing this he talked about putting his tongue behind uh, like in a place behind his false palate where he can touch and get a drop right that is called um, um, 
Amrita. Yeah, exactly. Amrita. Amrita, but or uh, nectar, you know, and um, and then um, you if you and I was taught that technique was I, when I was young, so you know I did it for a while, and uh, I was I started when I was eleven, so I got there right. So uh, and so when you get that drop in the morning, you're not hungry, you're not hungry for the rest of the day, and then. Actually, if you don't eat that night, you don't feel hungry still until you get the drop the next morning mm -hmm. and then you get the drop and you're good for again. So like, and when you eat, it doesn't feel good. It's like, it feels like, oh, I ate again, you know, and it's like, oh, <laughs> you know, and so you can, you and so when I, yeah. And so when I was studying, in my van, I, I just, I was so excited and connected to the whole thing and visualizing everything I was writing that uh, it was a natural thing. I, I didn't think of it as anything special, um, you know? And when I got out of the van, I stopped doing that because I was didn't want to freak anybody out. <laughs> but, um, you know, so at the time it was not well known. Uh, Nassim and others, yeah. if you want, I have the video from uh, my encounter with Prada Jani in India this March, right before he passed. Uh -huh. He has traveled 12 hours at 92 years old to meet us at the Prani Festival in India. Oh, and so he was you, 92. It, yeah, he was 92. He yeah. passed in May. And he, there's a short video that we made together where he was actually letting me test his chakras and he was letting me put his, my finger on the rooftop of his mouth, which is undoable for sadhus, as you know, <laughs> just to show me how Amrita flows. He wanted to present this to humanity, I believe. It wasn't just for me. So yeah. I'm ready to share it now if you want me to. Uh, how long is the video? Uh, two minutes. Okay. That's if, I mean, only if people are interested. If not, it just, you know, it's just the information that we met him in person. Well, maybe you can, did you put it out? Is it on the website somewhere? It's on my YouTube and Instagram, yeah. Okay. I just maybe placed you can it just put the link in the... Yeah, yeah, sure. In the chat. That would be great. I'd love to see that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's that's so wonderful. You get to spend that time with him. And Christiana has been deeply yeah. involved in this subject for many years oh. and hosts the Pranic Festival and teaches uh, a lot of the knowledge and wisdom she's learned from various masters in this field. So great Excellent. resource. I uh I uh I don't know like imagine how amazing he was that he was able to do that. Um, because like, I can't imagine anybody trying to put their finger down my throat and <laughs> while I'm trying to like get that, the drop to drop, that's pretty amazing control. Like I, I didn't thing, have anywhere close to that control. The thing with him and other breatharians, and it happens to me oftentimes is that the drop kind of drops constantly after a while. Yeah. So it's not just one time per day or two times per day it's a constant drop every mm -hmm. time you put the tongue on the roof of your mouth if your body is clean the drop drops <laughs> it's actually a waterfall basically yeah. so that's what happens so you don't have to just stop yourself or concentrate or it's just a flow when you're in tune it flows constantly that's mm -hmm. probably why he could do it without you know any effort he was mm -hmm. in that state since he was four years old or something mm -hmm. very little he got that mm -hmm. uh that that blessing you could say to be well, in that state. um i think that fetuses inside the womb they have their tongue in that position don't they I, i'm mm -hmm. i can't confirm that but mm. I vaguely remember that somewhere. Around. <laughs> Let's go back That's and good. check. Yeah, That's we the good check. yeah, we should <laughs> check that one. But I don't. And, you know. 
it's on the same timeline, so it should be easy to. Yes. Do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, well, oh. I know we're past our time in this. I want to let yeah. you get back to what you need to be doing beyond this call. So thank yeah. you, Laura. Thank you, Christina, yeah. for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank Those you. Those were great questions, and uh, yeah, it was fantastic. great to be able to talk with the community at large. I'm sorry I'm not so available these days because I'm finishing this paper. So well, be patient thanks. with me, everybody out there. We uh, are, and thank you for your uh, just coming in for an hour today. It's always great to have you here. So we, we thank you, that. everybody. So great to be with you all. Thank you, Ines, as you well, all. for being here today. So wonderful year in uh, Taurus Tech, and uh, enjoy your time and uh, do some good work. <laughs> <laughs> And thank you, Christiana, for joining us. Thanks, Marshall, for calling me in. And the links to both videos, the short video and his conference at the Frantic Festival are in the chat box now. So people okay, can great. see it. Yeah, maybe great. we can share it on the resonance group as well. I believe this is valuable for humanity. I'm looking forward, actually, for this to be researched in your labs. I have a few colleagues that are breatharians that offer to do this. And uh, Wonderful. yeah, we're ready for it. Excellent. Good. Well, we can discuss that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to discuss yeah. that. All right. Yes. Well, everybody, thanks for joining us on Facebook 